two-time Super Bowl champ, uh, Chris Long. He played in two Super Bowls, and he he won them. Uh, Eric Stone Street has attended two Super Bowls, and he won them. Um, and he joins us here <laughs> on the, the Rich Eisen Show right now in advance of another trip to the Super Bowl. How are you, Eric? Good to see you. Good. How are you? you what, <laughs> is that the real deal? Is that the real you deal know, back there? 100% is the real deal. It's uh, Lindsay got that for me for Christmas after our first one, and it's from the, the same guy who makes the replicas for all the coaches wow. and uh, coaches' wives and all that. So, yeah, it's it's as real as it gets without winning one. So, if one more, are you going to use one as a hood ornament for, for the truck that you drove me around in Kansas City? What do you just put it right <laughs> yeah, there? I could, well, you I could use that? the Lamar Hunt for that. I also have a Lamar <laughs> Hunt that they sent me as well. <laughs> This is so funny because once upon a time, you know, I'm like, you're, when we first met well over a decade ago, you know, and I'm like saying to you, hey, you should give such a fan. You should come to the Super Bowl. You should certainly. And you're like, no way. I am not going till the Chiefs make it. Now you're now you're a regular. You're a regular well, on this yeah, thing. Yeah, and I'm start, I feel like I'm starting to wear out my welcome because, you know, as you remember, Roger invited me to go when yes. I was in that place where I wouldn't go unless I, the Chiefs were in it. And, and and I asked for a rain check, and he said, sure. And then we went the first year, and I said, so can we make an agreement that I'll only bother you if the Chiefs are in the Super Bowl? And he goes, yeah, yeah, we can do that. And now here I am again. I'm like, uh, Roger, we're back. I need my tickets. New phone? Did he do the new uh, phone thing? Who it is? Did no, he, he didn't do that. He, okay, he's good. a man of his word. Oh, I mean, I, I, it's truly, I mean, I, I'll ask you this question again. I mean, this is, this is the, the night that – the Chiefs trade up for Mahomes in that draft in Philadelphia. If I told you this is what it would be, would you have believed it at all? I, I, I don't think I, any anyone would have predicted this exact run. I mean, I think there's no doubt that everybody thought that Patrick was going to change the franchise's trajectory. But this is history we're watching right now. I mean, this is potential all-time Super Bowl run here. So uh, I don't think anybody w- would have said that. But, I mean – Anything's possible, right? I mean, yeah. when you, you have that kind of um, generational talent. Total life-changing. I mean, totally life-changing. And then, you know, I know um, uh, nothing uh, hurts me more than your disapproval, Eric. I'm not going to lie. Um, <laughs> and you're so willing to uh, share it uh, mm-hmm. whenever whenever I might not see eye to eye with the way you view the football world. Um, yeah. But... I mean, has this turnaround even surprised you at all? I mean, Christmas was terrible. That was an I mean, awful Christmas. We could Christmas. roll the tape when I was there in person, and I said we would write the ship and we would be fine. Um, I was nervous. I, I think that San Diego game, or sorry, L.A. Chargers game, yes. really was a big thing for us as a team. Um, I heard one of the coaches say it, and I think it's so true that – watching those guys that usually are on special teams and then the second and third stringers go out there and play their tails off really rallied the, the win the team. And that was, you know, we were winning one and losing one, winning one and losing one. And that was win, win. And I think that just set us up getting Travis, the rest, getting those guys, the rest set us up for, for what we knew we needed to do. Champions peak when champions are supposed to peak. I mean, I I've said that from the beginning, I've watched it with so many other teams throughout my life that broke my heart, right. In baseball and in football and in hockey and things like that. So we're, we're directed by the great Andy Reed. He knows what he's doing. And I don't think it was a switch anybody turned on, but I think, you know, they figured, they figured it out and they changed a little bit of what they were doing and people stepped up when it was, when it was showtime. Do you got a story about Mahomes that I don't know about whether it's from the big slick, um, you know, your charitable uh, weekend with, your your friends and all your uh, I've been there you know, before. He always, and it's, he shows up, you know. The thing I can say about Patrick and Travis and and Creed this year, we invited Creed. I always like an old lineman represented. Uh, those guys all showed up. The old line showed up uh, Thursday night to the hospital do to do a mag- magic show for the kids with our friend Blake Voigt. And Patrick always shows up. Patrick and I always put twenty dollars on Texas Tech, K State football and basketball, and we never pay each other. So we're kind of <laughs> owe each other uh, some some kind of money. Well, some you would have. I mean, he he would have probably owed you about a hundred bucks with that tournament run last year. That's for sure. You know. Yeah, we yeah we we but we always we always throw it over to football or vice versa, whatever it is in Understood. the season. So I don't think we'll ever pay each other. But he's a I, I, I know he's just one of those dudes, but um, anything with the, from the from the softball game or anything? Have you been around the team to show up? What, what's, well, you what's know, you, you saw him throw me out 
throwing the ball backwards. I was up to bat and I hit the ball and he threw me out with a backwards pass to first base. I'm like, bro, you had to do me that way. It was one thing to throw me out, but you threw me out without even looking and throwing the ball behind your back. Like it's embarrassing already. What, 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 do, you, what, what do you mean? So you ground it? Where, where, where I was grounded he it to him. He picked it up and running this way. He just threw the ball back that way to first base and threw me out. You can find it online. Bring it up, Chris. Okay. Yeah. It's oh, yeah. hilarious. No, no, I got it. It's amazing. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll poor, share that out Eric. there. Yeah. I mean, he, he probably could have what planted his feet, pivoted and fired to first, right? He, he could have probably done that. He could have, but it was just easier for him to use his <laughs> momentum. And it's look, it's not like he was in a hurry to get it to first base with me running. Oh my gosh. Eric Stone Street here uh, on the Rich Eisen Show. All right, so what's this story with uh, Sneed? With Jerry oh, Sneed, what do you have here? Yeah. Eric? So uh, during training camp, uh -huh. he tweeted that he had a, a bunch of raccoons on his back porch that were like wreaking havoc on his porch, and he's at camp. Mm -hmm. Well, I see this tweet, and I'm like, he doesn't live very far from me. And the boy's PE coach is his neighbor. So I told Lindsay, I'm like, text his neighbor and see if his neighbor wants to reach out to the Legarius and ask him if he needs me to go over and take care of the raccoon problem on his back porch. Hmm. And so he texts him and says, uh, hey, I got somebody that will come humanely trap the raccoons and release them. Do you want them to come do it? And I said, and he said, how much does it cost? Which I so appreciated that he, that was his first question. <laughs> That's, I love that. More guys need to think that way. Right. Mm -hmm. So uh, he said, well, it's actually Eric Stone street and his, and his guy that works for him. That'll come take care of it. So Darcy, that guy in the picture right there. Yes. And I, we roll over at 11 o'clock at night, set traps on Legere Sneed's back porch, catch all the raccoons. And I text Brett Veach and say, I may not be on staff officially as the fixer, but I just fixed a major problem. So with Jerry can concentrate <laughs> on training camp and we, uh, tra I think we trapped five, five raccoons and released them out at my property in Leavenworth. No kidding. Yeah. So handled, handled. Okay, so you just wow. locked, locked. So does that make Darcy's a, a shutdown trapper? Is yeah, that what it is? I mean, it's a lockdown. Just, like, what do we call Darcy? What do we call I just him? love that Legarius was also watching like on his cameras, like these two dudes show up in a UTV because he literally lives in the neighborhood across the street. Yeah. So we drove over at like 11 o'clock at night and Darcy, that guy gets out of his car <laughs> at Legarius's house and goes into the backyard and sets these lock traps. And, and it, over the course of like five days, we were, we were over there for five days, get, getting the problem handled. I love and that. It, yeah. We handled it. Look handled. The handled. Look at Darcy. <laughs> Is that a recent photo of Darcy with the yeah? With that, the was, uh, that was that uh, was the the uh, Colt game, I believe. Okay, that was the Miami game. Oh my God! Oh, wait a minute. He's dressed like that when it's minus twenty six. Is that what you're oh, saying? Oh yeah, he has Come to on. do no, that. This is not, no, wait a minute. Up. Really? I'm serious. That is I'm serious. That's the if we zoom in on that picture. Yeah. That's the Miami game. He does that on purpose to make that us is all the look Dolphins. Stupid. You're right. That is the Dolphins on the field. Get out yeah. of here. Yeah. That's how he was dressed. <laughs> and you saw how I was dressed, right? Yes. Oh, we saw yeah. that. Yeah. That's the position me. <laughs> Embarrassed. That, was Ryan here, Fitzpatrick. that guy looks like oh, it looks, it's, it's a very Fitzpatrick type. This beard. is how I'm dressed. Look at that. Oh, my God. Yeah, pull it up to your right there. Look at that. Oh, my God. That's how you were dressed. And Darcy's just like, la di da. That is funny, Eric. All right, so your level of concern rests where right now? Monday before mm. Super Bowl Sunday. Come on. Mm. My level of concern is uh, not playing from behind, getting the lead, scoring, not turning the ball over, all basic football stuff. But, you know, Kyle Shanahan won't make the same mistake that the other two coaches, in my opinion, made, which was abandon the run. Like he's going to run the ball. So we can't, we can't let them get ahead. So um, I think as long as our offense comes out and clicks, doesn't turn the ball over and we score and 
you know, I'm not saying that that's easy to do against anyone or in the Super Bowl, but we've proven we can score against anybody. Look, Buffalo, in in my opinion, and I think other people that are a lot smarter than me's opinion, was the toughest team we played. That offense was awesome. Josh Allen is a stud. I love Brock Purdy because he's a big 12 guy and he's a great story, but he's not Josh Allen yet and he is not Lamar Jackson yet. And we handled those two guys. Spagnola put together a plan that obviously all the guys trusted would work and it did work. So we can handle him. Christian McCaffrey, Ayuk, Debo, obviously, are all prolific weapons. So slow those guys down, you know, and I think we'll be fine. I think we match up pretty well. I think um, our their interior line matches up, you know, pretty good against our Chris Jones and things like that. So I think we'll get after him and make him be a great quarterback. Yeah, I don't know what the Spagnolo mind trick is. Uh, I, I, you're right that that McCaffrey, I assume, will get more than six carries. Yes. In this game, as opposed to just six running back play calls for toting the rock in the AFC Championship game for the Ravens. That that that. If I told you that before the game, you're like, oh, then Mahomes must have lit it up, and we've got to be up by at least three, four touchdowns for something like that to happen. I don't know how the hell that happened. You know, I'm not, I don't know film and right. You know, scheme enough to understand what they did and what, what Spagnuolo dictated to the Ravens to do. But I know that they still could have attempted to run the ball a little bit more to try to establish it a little bit and not go to Lamar so quickly. I, I felt really good in that game going into it. I felt more confident going into the Baltimore game than I did the bills game, to be honest with you. And I think winning at Buffalo was Nothing against the Ravens and nothing against that atmosphere. <clears throat> but winning in Buffalo, I think, was a bigger, bigger win than even against the Ravens, given that it was even to the AFC, you know, to the Super Bowl. And how great was that moment? Because I know you love linemen more than most. Uh, when You know, they, they take the shot of the suite and we're all expecting to see um, Taylor Swift. And it's Jason Kelsey without a shirt and a beer in his hand, just like, like 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 a bear just like y- y- yowling like roaring like a bear man that was hilarious Great. i got to tell jason at the super bowl last year you know i've only met him twice once when i was on their podcast here in kansas city at the draft and and there at the super bowl but i told him like man there's nobody better than you and you are a kelsey and kansas city loves kelsey's and this obviously was before all this stuff and and uh, they're just a great family. They're great for <laughs> communities. And I mean, they're just all class, all world dudes. I mean, they're just all world guys. Look at that. I mean, <laughs> I wish I, I wish I could roll around like that without my shirt. <laughs> Look at him with that beer. That beer looks like it's a mini can in his hand. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's just, he's a stud. He's, you know, let me tell you a cool story about Jason and what a good guy he is. Sure. So, I went up to him after the Super Bowl and he was standing on the field watching the pageantry of the Chiefs win. And I had gotten up, gotten down on the field and he was standing there. And I debated whether to say something to him in that moment or not. But I, I felt like, well, there he is. And, you know, I wanted to love him up a little bit and just say how much we love him. And it didn't go his way and and this and that. And that he's always, a, you know, a, a, a Kansas City and for, as far as I was concerned. And, uh, told him great game and walked away. Well, then the documentary comes out that they were shooting. And I was like, holy crap. I walked up to him in this moment where the cameras were on him. He's mic'd up. I felt like a real turd. So then I saw him at his podcast and I said, Jason, I got to apologize to you. Like I realize now that, that that was a documentary, you know, going on. And I feel terrible that I interrupted that moment. And he said, buddy, you made that moment better. Hmm. And I was like, that's that's a very nice thing to say uh, to me to make me feel better about kind of interrupting what potentially was going on in your world that I had no idea was going on. So I, I appreciate it. That just shows you what a good guy he is. That podcast is the one that he and Travis did at the draft? That live yeah. one, you mean that one? Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, I, listen, I think the world of those guys, no doubt about it, the whole family. I, um, okay, so I will see you this weekend. Uh, you got your game day gear all picked out. You got to like, uh, you know, it's been a struggle. It's been, I want this Vegas hat that I've seen and I can't get the Vegas tarmac cap with the Vegas. Welcome to Vegas. Okay. I'm looking for that. So hopefully how's my hair look? It looks great. Good. No, it looks yeah, great. Thank you. Um, I, I want to get that hat. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to wear yet. Oh, that one right there. The one that, oh, uh, that yeah. Okay. I saw Coach Reed getting off the plane with one, and I know he'll never wear a flat bill hat. And I almost texted him and said, "Hey, save that hat for me." 
I think you know the right people to get one of those. That is cool. Oh, I'll find one somewhere. I think that's such a sharp looking hat. It's awesome looking. That is cool. Um, okay. Yeah. So you got your you got your stuff already? Oh yeah, I've got my suit picked out. I got my suit. I got. Uh, I'm, I think I'm going to go blue pinstripe. You know, it's a Super Bowl. Mm. I think I'm going to do that. A little nice dark suit. You know, stay neutral. Yeah. Stay yeah. Neutral. Oh, right down the middle, sir. Right down the I middle. I will not be neutral. I remember the first year that we got to get in Rogers' suite. I had to like call his secretary and be like, "Hey, just want to make sure that I can wear what I want to wear in his suite because I'm not coming neutral in any way, shape, right. or form." He's cool with that. Like, you're fine. He's you're cool fine. with that. At least you're you know you're not going to wear anything baseball in there like you did, Chris. Right? You brought a Red Sox hat to the commissioner's I, suite, right? I always wear a Red Sox hat. He idiot. did that. So, yeah, I'm going to wear it when I'm at a football game. Yeah, uh, uh, I got it. Yeah, I he's know. like the guy that wears the uh, some some oh. random team's jersey to another no, home game. No, he actually calls no, those people no, out. I, I you hate, hate those people. people. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. You hate those good, people. Good. Yeah, it's, uh, actually, he was the first one I, I, I reached out to when I was walking into the Rose Bowl, <laughs> yeah. Michigan, Alabama, and crossed paths with a guy wearing his Maryland gear. And I'm like, dude, you've got the wrong. What are we doing? Stadium, wrong day, Maryland gear. What the hell? What is, he, is he? Is that person just basically saying to the world, like, I like sports too? <laughs> we don't know what those people are doing. Don't know so doing. yes, I don't get it. No. I don't get it. No, just yeah. Anyway, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. I can't wait to see you, Chris. Uh, I'm, I've forgiven you for all your tweets. Well, I've gotten daily FaceTimes after the Chiefs win from Eric. Oh, is that right? Through the playoff run, yeah. Oh, I had no idea. Yeah, yeah. Boy, well, you're... it was the whole it's too cold move the game people that were so annoying to me. Let me tell you something hey, I'm about I'm sorry for caring I, I about others, to... Eric. You know what I mean? I'm... I'm sorry. I'm just a humanitarian in that way. Oh, please. And tell him what I told your son when I FaceTimed you. His son was there so cutely on the phone. And I was like, here's what I can tell you about your dad. He will never let you be cold outside. <laughs> right. to make sure will you're taken enough. care of. You've got gloves and scarves and hats yeah. and everything else. But here's the deal. Like, that game yeah. that you saw that I've dressed like a you know wolf in the Arctic and Darcy's dressed like he's going <laughs> to Palm Beach. Um that was an major <laughs> emotional moment for me, like sitting up there looking at how full the stadium was and thinking like so many people bought cheap tickets and came to that game. It was an emotion. It was, it was like I always cry at parades, like, and that yeah. brought that, that brought a tear to my eye seeing all those people out there in that cold weather. So I think it was a really important moment for the Chiefs. I think it was an important moment for the city that we all came together, froze our tails off, and got the got the W. Eric, you're the best, man. I'll see you this weekend. You be well. Thank you. You got it. You that's guys. Eric, that's Eric Stone Street you, getting ready for a third ring if he can. Right here on the Rich Eisen Show. Room on that shelf for another trophy. We'll find out. That's wrapped in, uh, that's really just chocolate. <laughs> I'd be okay with that too. <laughs> no, that's the real deal, I'm sure. How funny is that? I'm like, you should put that as a hood on He says, no, we have the Lamar Hunt trophy for that. I've got one of those around here too. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free. 